So Branson Mitchell there on the right with Goblin Charbelcher. Andrew Olschwager on the left with Maverick. And uh, these guys are fighting for a place in the top four of the StarCityGames.com Legacy Open Series in Denver, Colorado. So, this, yeah, this could be very interesting. Charbelcher able to win very quickly, especially when unopposed. Uh, we, we can already answer the question you asked, force of will or no. Maverick tends to not play force of will, really? so unless Andrew uh. is a real Maverick. A <laughs> Maverick Maverick? <laughs> a rogue Maverick? Uh, yes, he, uh, I doubt he's actually playing counter spells. A Papa Grizzly? Okay. His, I'm looking at his sideboard. He, his sideboard <coughs> is, what is it? It's 13 one ofs and two enlightened tutors. I think uh, Aether Sworn Cannonist is going to be a valuable weapon for him in big sideboarder games. Yeah, I imagine the one of Cannonist will uh, will come in, but that's for game two, and probably three if there is a third game. So uh, yeah, we've seen like a ton of ton of cool decks all weekend. Delver performing very well in both Standard and Legacy. And uh, Branson Mitchell has a turn one. Oh boy. Uh oh, does he have Is this going to be a turn one, one kill? Oh wow, going very quickly. Chrome Mox, Seething Ritual, song. Ritual, uh, yeah, ritual, 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 ritual. A bunch of red rituals here. And Empty the Warrens. Okay, wait a second. Let's just check out um, Andrew's deck here. I think the phrase is that's Game Boys. I do not believe that Andrew can actually come out of this quickly enough. There are the goblins hitting the table. So we saw Chrome Mox. We saw uh, three different uh, rituals. <laughs> and he goes Wasteland. Rawr, take 10. But yeah, Wasteland is all he can muster there on his turn. And uh, Branson has Andrew on a uh, one turn clock. There's a Gataxian probe from Branson checking out what's happening and we got a quick glimpse of a Thalia uh, sc uh, scavenging ooze, a green sun zenith and a uh, fauna shaman along with a windswept heath which is currently being cracked and yeah uh, Andrew knows what's up no need to go any further and Brandon Mitchell <laughs> wins game one in a minute and 15 seconds that's pretty good <laughs> I think actually the shuffling <laughs> it's That's taking good. longer. Well, it wow. definitely took longer. Right? Like a minute and 15 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You know, unfortunately, what that means is we have to uh, we have to ask these guys a trivia question. Okay, but wow. I'm not ready with trivia I've questions. I've got a trivia question. I plan oh to write it while we were covering this match. I'm already ready with one. So, no worries. All right, no you got my back, out. Adrian? All right. Yeah. Freak out. Sorry. <laughs> no Thanks worries. for having my back, So, uh, I'll give you a hint. We actually just mentioned this player's name just moments ago. Okay. So the trivia question, how this works is, at the beginning of every game, I guess we should say, every first sideboarding of a match, <laughs> in round, the quarterfinal round, the semifinal round, and the final round, we give away premium three months, then six months, and then finally for the finals, a full year of premium. If you were one of the lucky people who tweets the correct answer to the trivia question with the hashtag SCG Premium as a part of your answer, one lucky person amongst those who answers correctly will get a free however many months of premium. In this case, it'll be three. So the trivia question is this. One player in this top eight was at the top of the Swiss, the number one at the end of the Swiss, and he was also at the number one yesterday in the Swiss. What archetype did he play yesterday? Ooh, that's a tough one. Yesterday. At number one at the end of the Swiss. That's a tough one to type, too. Shoebox over there trying to, trying to tweet Ooh, it. For, what uh, was the for archetype Twitter, that was number uh, one in the Swiss yesterday? Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, so what archetype was number one in at the, the end of the Swiss in the standard? Yesterday. Standard? That's right. This player, number one in the Swiss today. Yeah. What's he playing so today? You can actually look this at is maybe it'll give you a small hint. Today he's playing Rug Delver. What was it yesterday? Could be a hint. Obviously. Okay. So tweet SCG uh, Premium. Make sure you get that as a part of your answer. Wolf run rug. Right? I mean, could, be. Hint, could it be. But back to our sideboarding with our players that are uh, already underway. Yeah. Andrew Olschwager has to find some way to answer such a terrible, potent threat. He needed. I think all he needs to do, obviously, is just set up a terminus on top for his first, for his uh, second draw step. That's it. Right. Right. He doesn't have a terminus though, oh, so well, that's a problem. Loses. That's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Aether Sworn Cannonist, I believe, is going to come in. 
also coming in, I expect, is going to be Enlightened Tutor, just to be able to find things really quickly, um, so that he can go turn one land, Enlightened Tutor at the end of the turn, and if the turn one kill isn't there, drop a turn two Aethersworn Canonist. And I think also he's gonna bring in Kasali Pride Mage. Other than that, I don't know that he brings in anything. Yeah, not a lot to uh, to deal with Belcher. What does that say? I cannot tell. There is a card written on this list that it it's really bad handwriting. So it's one. Yeah, it look it looks like it could be a T and F. Like it could be Fog, could be Fred, um, could be Thrun, Try, Fry. I can't tell what it is. Yeah, it, it, it could be Thrun. Now, oh, but, look yeah. at Branson Mitchell there. Shrugs his shoulders. I didn't even sideboard. It's like I yeah yeah. Whatever, I'm ready to win this thing. We, he may have sideboarded though. I don't think he did. No? I, I, I'd take look, a look at that guy. He looks like a guy that said to himself, you know what? I'm not even going to sideboard against this guy. <laughs> In fact, given that he's a Burning Wish deck, I think he probably did not sideboard at all. Yeah, um, the, uh, the, the four, he's got a lot of one ofs in the, in the board. The four ofs he has are Xanted Swarm and Pyroblast, neither of which I, I think he really needs here. What do you think? I think you're completely correct. And, and everything else appears to be a tutor target. Empty the Warrens, Goblin Warstrike, Cave-In, Pyroclasm, Reverent Silence, Shattering Spree, and Traitorous Blood. So, uh, I know one thing, these Belcher decks are exciting. Right? right like, all, like we, talk, we talk, talked about Infect being very exciting, all the turns, I mean the entire game being compressed into a smaller amount of turns. And Charbelcher takes that just to the next level here in Legacy, where the match literally came down to four total turns between two players. Or was it five? Sorry, I think I think Andrew had two turns, and and then that was it. So Branson Mitchell here, just waiting to have. Uh, the hurry up and let's play our two turns of magic. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Is there a ley line that's? Uh, you start the. You start the game with this in play. Take an extra turn after this one. Sacrifice this. So you. So you have a turn one, and then mm. a, the second turn. That would be awesome for these decks. Maybe. Sounds actually awful. I'm, uh, <laughs> especially designing cards on a fly like that. It's very <laughs> awful. Some particular predictions. Um, I think we're going to see a tough fight between Rug Delver and Reanimator. Um, I'm not sure. It depends on Barrett's sideboarding, um, pretty much. I think that Barrett has Gilded Drake, which is going to be a huge weapon there. I'm going to give that to Rug Delver. Here, I think the obvious uh, person with advantage here is Belcher. <laughs> Esper played versus Miracles. I think Joe Lost is going to win with Miracles. And No Intel versus Blue Red Delver. I think Michael Zvien is going to do well with No Intel, but that's a close one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm kind of excited. Really, all these matches have something appealing about them. You know, like something exciting. I think just, I, we haven't seen Reanimator all day. I liked, I'd like to watch the Rugdell Delver Reanimator match. Uh, we've got Esperblade versus Miracles. Obviously, big fan of the Miracle deck. And that, that could be a grindy match. That would be kind of cool to see. And uh, obviously, No Intel versus Blue Red Delver. We actually saw that matchup. Eric Carson played versus a uh, No Intel deck earlier in the tournament, but it wasn't the same version of the No Intel deck. Right. It was a different player playing the Petals of Insight version, right. uh, which was is more of a storm combo, where uh, this version, Michael Svian, is playing a Academy Rector version that puts uh, Gristlebrand and Emberpool into play. That's cool. No, no That's cool. I don't think it's, there's, a, there's a storm element at all to this particular version. There are burn. I believe there's a couple of burning wishes, but yep. those are not. But he, I don't believe he's uh, he's storming at all. He's even got living wish. I've seen him living wish for an Emrakul. Looks like Andrew has mulliganed to five here. Branson has uh, has kept. Is that correct? He's kept on seven. All right. I mean, it's pretty frightening. I think if you're Andrew. Uh, you need to have the right seven. It, it, your opener is actually way more important in this matchup than yeah. it would be in a lot of others. I mean, you basically have to keep a hand that is actively good against this deck. You can't take something like 
he better have a good turn true. Now, there's no real turn ones in his deck unless he's sideboarded an Enlightened Tutor that are all that great. So, and we see a Gataxian Probe. Let's see what he kept. Looks like Ethos oh, wow. One Canonist. Oh, what else is that? Uh, the Green Sun Zenith, Zenith and a and, Forest? Uh, yeah, looks like maybe a snow covered forest. This is a good start for Andrew. Now, does Branson just win? It is snow covered forest. It's on the deck list that way. <laughs> Love it. That's some that's some style style points for Andrew. Very good eye. Well, it looked like there was snow. Uh, on okay, Chrome Mox, we begin. There's a burning wish imprinted on the Chrome Mox. There's lotus a pedal. lotus petal. Counting up the storm. Adrian's got his fingers out here. Now those don't count those as storm. Don't count. Those, those are, are not removed, spells. Removed his mana, but he's got a green and a red in his pool now. One, two, three, uh, four. Four mana in his pool. Oh my God, Charbelcher! Char Char oh my God! Now it's just the flip. Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, storm. I don't know. If storm on uh, Storm anymore. doesn't matter. Let's but, just see where the mountain is. Yeah. He's got one tag on the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dead. Yeah, that's it. And Branson Mitchell wins the match. Wow. In less than ten minutes. Uh, now, of actual play, if you combine the you know game one, game two, it was about three minutes, I think. Yeah. 15 seconds for game one. I don't know how long was game two. Wow. Okay. And Branson Mitchell now, I, I uh, I'm willing to bet that he played less turns of Magic than anyone in the room. <laughs> if they all turned out like that, seriously.